common wisdom has it that good has a tendency to grow and preserve itself, whereas evil tends to grow until it destroys itself. But perhaps there is a flaw in our definitions, or would it be evil for good to grow until it crowded evil out of existence? Everyone is born with a store of knowledge he doesn't know he possesses. The human body of flesh and blood, which has to feed itself upon the plants and their fruits, and upon animal meats, is not a fit habitation for the eternal spirit that moves us. And for this we must die. But somewhere in the future is the assurance of a new body type, which can outlast the stones which do not die. The things we learn strike sparks, and sparks light fire. And the firelight reveals strange things moving in the darkness. The darkness can teach you what the light has never seen and will never be able to see. Unwilling to continue merely mineral existence, plants were the first rebels, but the pleasures of a plant are limited to the number of ways in which it can circumvent the laws governing the mineral world. There are poisonous minerals that can kill plants or animals or men. There are poisonous plants that can kill animals or men. There are poisonous animals which can kill men. But man is unable to continue the poisonous chain, poison other creatures though he may, because he has never developed a means for poisoning the gods.